I want to show you how to use the DNR GPS program to download data from a GPS. Now, this was written as a successor to the DNR Garmin program, so it should support a bunch of different GPS units. The thing is it's a work in progress, so some of the functions don't work. For example, projecting coordinates currently doesn't work, but it should in a future version. The primary way we're going to use it today is to download track or waypoint information. These are points or lines or polygons we've collected in the field. Now, typically we get data either from GPS collection, from aerial photos that we digitize off of, or from downloading data from the web that someone else created. And there are videos on all three of those in this series. So here I'm going to download some tracks. Oops, first um, I automatically connect every time because I've used my GPS several times. The program I remember looks for it and automatically connects to it. But the first time you'll have to find the GPS and you should be able to get the connection. So when I, I do this find GPS the first time it found it and that saves it and remembers it. I'm going to download some tracks. So here I have various tracks that I've collected. For example, a walk to West Park or um, a track uh, that I just did a stroll around the neighborhood last night. So I can download one of those and you'll see that it downloads them in latitude, longitude format. So I'll have to make sure that those get converted to another coordinate system if that's what I want. Once I've downloaded it here in the file, save to arc map file, and you can save it to a shape file, and so I'll call this my evening stroll. And it saves it in Esri shape file format. Now, in this case, it's just a line. If I had a track that closed back on itself or came close to it, I could save it as a polygon. And of course, if I have waypoints, I'd save them as, as point files. I could save this as a series of points if I wanted, rather than a line. So I'll say OK. It saves it and off we go. So uh, now I want to open the map window and I have here a, a project I put together that has generally the area. And we'll see then how successful I was. It notices here that the map coordinate system I have for my project here, my data pane is an NAD UTM um, zone 15 north, 2083, with these metric units, and the file is in latitude longitude. So it asks me if I want to reproject it. I'll say sure, and it'll reproject a copy and then put it on my uh, map. Now I can't really see that very well, so I'll want to change the color here. Uh, and now I can see here if I zoom in the evening stroll I took. So walking around, taking the dogs by the beach and other things. So this is, is basically how we can collect the data and download it. Now it's in a shape file and I can do any of the other things I want to do or can do with a shape file, calculate an area, uh, dress it up to put it in a map, uh, look at the perimeter, integrate it with other data. So that's how you use the DNR GPS.